All right, everyone. Hopefully you've uh, you've grabbed your snack and, and, and had a water or a bathroom break because we have our next panelist up. It's Liz Piotr. Um, one of the things I love, well, there's many things to love about Liz. If you don't know Liz, she's, she's wonderful. But from the perspective of, 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 a, uh, of a group like this, of all these retailers, Liz got her start as a retail store manager, right? So it's like that kind of like, she's one of us. She gets it. She's lived that life uh, as so many of us have. It's like, there's a very particular education you get working retail and managing retail, right? Yes. That is so true. Trial by fire. <laughs> yeah, completely. So of course, Liz now is the global marketing director for Ultra Pro. Um, but I just, I love that call back to roots because it's just, it's a great way to, you know, you, you can always tell when you're working with people and they just kind of get it. Like they've been there. Uh, and for those of you, I, I, I met Liz through events and she was amazing there. Uh, and so, but when, when you talk to someone and you just get it, they've been there, they know what you're, maybe they're not there now, you know, global direct marketing director for ultra pro, you know, but you, you, you have that experience. You take those experiences with you. Think about everyone who's come and gone from retail, come and gone from events. They, that just stays with you. So I love having exactly. Liz yeah, at events like this and talking to Liz because, you know, you, you've been there. You know it. it it's, it's all very, very genuine. So uh, with that, Liz, let me go ahead and hand it off to you. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm very, very excited to have you. Uh, and I can't wait to see this presentation. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. And thank you for giving me such a great introduction. <laughs> it's my pleasure. <laughs> All right. I am going to take two seconds to share my screen with everybody. Uh, so hopefully we have done this right. Um, and that now everyone can see uh, what I am. Oh, I think I... I'm going to just, I think I shared the wrong one. Let's try that again. You guys want to see the actual presentation, not the silly notes version. So, <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, thank you guys so much for being here today. Um, I wanted to give you a few minutes to actually um, take a peek at um, kind of two of the major resources that UltraPro has for retailers that um, we've launched in the last few years. Um, we have a Facebook group for retailers. And so everything that you are gonna see in the presentation today, we also make sure that we share with that uh, retail group. We also do things like share exports of our product catalog so you can easier set up your POS system. And we give you early access to assets, social media assets to help you promote um, our releases. And then we also do a lot of fun giveaways because we need your opinions. Things like what, how should we package this? And um, just some cool resources about, we need your, your feedback on what, what can we do to improve these products? Or um, this one's a hit, how do we follow it up? So um, that's a, a group that we uh, did start last year. It's almost 800 retailers now. It's got a couple of questions, so make sure you answer the, the gateway questions to make sure that we know you're a real retailer. Um, and then we also have a Google Drive. Um, images are so hard, and when you make as many products as we do, um, sometimes images can get lost in the email blast from distributors. So we actually have a Google Drive that does um, is a home for all the, the new products that we've blasted so that you guys as retailers can get access for them, make graphics or, and we do things like we make a 1080 by 1920 so that you can put graphics up on the televisions you might have in your store or things like that. So um, feel free. I would love to see you guys join the, the retail group. We are gonna do a special giveaway on Monday because we know there's a, a bunch of retailers here today. Um, Yes, I will, in fact, link to that Google Drive for all of you. Uh, let's try that on for size. Um, so uh, we are going to do a special giveaway on Monday. I can't tell you what it is, but make sure you join the retailer group by Monday because we are going to do some cool. We have a new promotional item that we're going to put a code up for retailers to get for free. So I hope to see you guys all join. Um, and now let's get to the fun part and let's nerd out about accessories. Um, all right, Kaldheim just came out. I know it's all released in your store. Um, and I wanna take just a couple of seconds to talk about a new product line that we started. Um, when Wizards of the Coast did a, an amazing job bringing more Commander products out to the market, 
um, and aligning them with set releases, we said, let's do the same thing. Uh, with set releases, we are going to add some new SKUs to specifically support the commander release products. Um, so we have com combo boxes. We know that the SKU count is high for releases. Uh, you've already got a lot of SKUs between the playmats and the deck boxes that support the, the traditional product. Um, and so we did a combo box for the commander product. So it's a sleeve and a deck box in one. And then we also sell uh, the playmats as well. Um, so we've got, this is our Kaldheim release. Um, but I also wanted to take a minute to give you a little bit of the philosophy behind the set release when we do put accessories out. Um, we don't commit to, we're going to make three sleeves, three deck boxes, five play mats, and, you know, a binder. We take a look at the storyline. The folks at Wizards give us um, a little bit of a, a heads up as to what's coming. And we, we do our best to tell the story through the accessories or to emphasize the story through the accessories. So it does mean that sometimes the skew count will fluctuate, but we generally try to stick inside of a, um, a window. We don't wanna go overboard. Every once in a while, there's some really cool like uh, fancy new lands or we'll wanna do a run of something that has like five or 10 in a series and we don't wanna miss out or choose just one of the arts, but we try to stay pretty far away from that uh, unless we really think that the story wants to, to see it. So um, we generally will do five to seven play mats for a set. Kaldheim actually featured the very first in a set release, Stitched Edge play mat. Um, and so we are trying to bring that premium Stitched Edge uh, as a, a SKU available to retailers because the community is so split on their opinions about Stitched Edge. We will never just go all to Stitched Edge. We'll always offer a selection of both um, for you. Um, so we've got roughly five to seven play mats. We usually will do anywhere from three to five sleeves and deck boxes. We use key art or big storytelling uh, components. So here you see the planeswalkers um, and we have the sleeves and the deck boxes. All of the magic sleeves are gonna be a gloss art to showcase the art to the best, and then uh, a matte clear side, so no glare on camera. Um, and all the deck boxes are 100 plus deck boxes. That's gonna be consistent to all magic releases for you. And then we also have um, some themes or elements that we think are really um, catchy or gonna really grab consumer attention for you. Um, the, the heavy metal from Kaldheim was so much fun for us to, to feature and being able to get that onto um, some accessories and adding the wall scroll and the life pad um, to the line with that art was really fun. So we've got key characters and then we try to bring in the theme or the, the feeling of the set, in which case in Kaldheim we had that awesome heavy metal. Um, and then we also had that kind of like um, historical like storytelling vibe with the, the tree of life graphics. Um, and then we also had um, we use some of the more extended art. Wall scrolls have given us a lot of a room to play with some of the cool, taller vertical art uh, that Magic has. And then we do have uh, the Pro Binder and the six foot and eight foot table mat. I will tell you, um, pre-orders for Strict Haven, the next set, are out now. And we did add a, an item to that pre-order based on retailer demand. You all are yelling at us really loudly that the 12 pocket binder was something that you wanted to see as a release item. Uh, our retail group, when we did a survey, they said they they wanted to see a 12 pocket binder to see how it would sell and see what customers thought. So for Strixhaven, we have both a nine pocket and a 12 pocket um, pro binder for you. And I, I challenge you as retailers, take one of these, open it up, take a peek at it. We've been doing some really cool things with UV gloss finishes. So there's texture um, and we try to bring out elements of the artwork by applying extra textures. And if you haven't seen that on one of these, give it an open, um, put it on your counter and then get back to us in the retailer group. Tell us what you think. Uh, we're always looking for ways to make that art just that much better, chef's kiss. Um, and then we did do something pretty fun for call time. Uh, with the return of Snow Mana, we did add the Snow Mana alcove box to our line. Um, so we have the full mana line and these are 100 plus deck boxes. So those sleeves 
uh, they'll fit uh, over 100 double sleeved cards. So it's perfect for a commander player or a standard player with their sideboard. Um, and it's wide enough, it'll fit a divider in there too. Um, so we have all five of the mana symbols, plus we have the Planeswalker logo. The gold features the five uh, mana symbols in a circle. And then now we do have the snow mana uh, alcove as well. So, um, and we've got just restocked those. So they landed just a week ago uh, as a full restock. And I am going to talk about some of our like stocking and some of the out of stock with COVID and things at the end. So if you have questions about stock or availability, I am going to answer those. And I'm going to make sure I leave time at the end to kind of go over some of the challenges that we had and what we've done uh, as a company to try to get ahead of that curve and to um, work towards getting the market uh, better supplied with supplies. Yeah, you didn't pay for this content, sorry. <laughs> so. Um, so we have the alcove that came from Kaldheim. I also want to emphasize that set releases are rotating. Um, so a set release comes in and it's not gonna be back in print. So the sleeves and the deck boxes and the things that you see in that set are only available one time. Um, although sometimes we do go back into print on a play mat because we make those in California. Um, so it's easy for us to, to come back to print on those. Whereas sleeves and deck boxes, the time it takes to press and print the materials by the time we could get a reprint in, you are all already on to the next set. Um, but for Magic, we do have a larger variety of evergreen products than we have ever had before. So the Mana Alcoves are evergreen. That means we want to have them in stock for you at all time. Once you make a spot for this on your shelf, we're gonna be able to continue to put them back uh, for you over and over again. So this one, Players always need mana and they always need a deck box and it's a great fit for an evergreen skew. We also have that newly launched in 2020 uh, is our mythic line. There's a really fantastic video on YouTube of our communications manager, Crystal, uh, doing a stand on top of these deck boxes. These guys are built to last. So um, we've got three sizes. So whether you just wanna carry your cards, whether you want your cards and tokens or whether you want multiple decks, um, we have three sizes uh, and these, it's actually embroidered. It's not uh, uh, an applique or anything like that. So this, these are just beautiful finishes and retailers. I don't have a picture up here. I should have uh, of our gorgeous packaging on these. It's, it sits on the shelf. It's all black on black and it's really attention grabbing. So if you haven't gotten these into your store, I would recommend it. Um, these are one of my very favorite items and the 12 pocket binder and definitely made it home for, for my, my collection. Um, so we did the 12 pocket, the nine pocket, and the four pocket. Um, as players are going back and forth with what they need, it doesn't matter whether they've got a tiny bag that they wanna like be compact to go for their tournament or they're really building a, a collection to sit on their bookshelf. We did all three size binders to make sure um, that um, we were really going to be able to hit every player's needs on these. And then also as an evergreen product, uh, our loyalty dice have been on the market for almost two years now. And you retailers call this out. We play magic, so we should have known this, but uh, the loyalty dice, we did four six-sided dice. We could have easily done one through six and seven through 12. Loyalty ticks up. And we know you can use multiple dice. Um, but these in particular are oversized. And so we did make a running uh, an update for these so that you actually get two one through six dice and two seven through 12 dice. Um, so the update, the inventory is just run out on the original ones uh, from our last order. And the, the update should be here in like Q2. So like May, June-ish. So, um, and all of this presentation and all of these part numbers will be available in that retailer drive. In fact, they're already there. Uh, I snuck them in ahead of time um, so that you don't have to worry about trying to remember part numbers or anything like that. So, um, and I do see some questions. I'm gonna hit questions at the end. Um, so you can submit those via the Q and A too, um, but I will try to hit as many of those at the end as I can. Um, we also have our Relic Token line. This has been a really fun adventure for our R&D team. We knew that people needed, dice just don't always work. Sometimes you need to say that you've got 50 tokens 
Or sometimes you need to say that your tokens are one, two, or two, four, or uh, whatever the case may be. So we've, this line has seen a lot of evolution because we're not content um, with what we did first. We started with a token that had two dials. And then we were like, well, you need to do quantity and power and toughness. So let's add a third dial to see what um, make them much more functional for, for folks to use. And then once we got the dials figured out, we were like, we can do better. Um, the original token was a, a frame that had a really cool like foil or non-foil sticker um, that went inside and then the dials worked. But we were like, we can make these a lot more durable because people put them in their deck box and they carry them around. So our new Relentless token line actually features a big design update. It has a window now that magnifies the numbers so that they're a lot easier to read. And the construction is actually a multi-layer construction. So it comes together and is a lot more durable. Um, so retailers who have Relic tokens or if you haven't, um, this new Relentless collection that just dropped in January has the new design and I'm a commander player. So I am really excited about these because the, the changes that we've made on these is, I really think that they are a long-term uh, stable for play. So let me know what you think in the retail group because I am curious to hear your thoughts once you've opened a pack in your store. Um, and then we also have our, our bundles. A lot of people want to match. They love the concept of like, I've got sleeves, deck box, play mats that all match. And we know some people like to mix and match, but the bundle is a really great product. It's also a really amazing gift option for folks that maybe want to gift to the magic player in their life, um, but aren't sure what to buy. These bundles come in a box uh, reminiscent of the old holiday boxes from, from years gone by. It's a two-piece storage box that will hold um, 700 cards inside. Um, <laughs> you're right, typo. It's $24.99 for the binder. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> um, the two-piece box will have 700 sleeved cards inside, um, and it comes with the playmat rolled up inside, um, sleeves, and then the 100-count deck box all, all packed into one for you. Um, so it's a really great gift with Lime, and we do make the, the pro binder as well, because a lot of people loved this art so much, they wanted to see it on binders as well. Um, so we started, the newest one in this line is Ashiok. And then Teferi just launched uh, late 2020. So we have, I think both of those are available right now. We started with Chandra, but she has sold out. Um, and for right now, uh, we're once we sell out of a Planeswalker, we're moving on to the next design. And I can tell you that we have two of these slated for 2021. I can't tell you who's making an appearance, but I can tell you that there's going to be two familiar faces coming out in uh, 2021. Um, now we're gonna, we blocked the plans for magic and we're gonna take a stroll into the world of D&D because we make accessories for uh, the D&D world as well. Um, our most recent launch is our Icewind Dale uh, heavy metal dice set. So we have the seven die RPG set and then we also have available a two D20 set. So depending on what folks are looking for, um, we have both options. Um, the Icewind Dale set is a fun way for us to say, hey, the world is really frosty with Icewind Dale, so let's make a beautiful set of dice that enhance the world. Um, we do also have the Evergreen set. So the red and black version will be available all the time, and then we'll have a set of dice that will release roughly in line with one set a year in the world of d and um, I can't tell you what the next set will be, but I can tell you they just crossed my desk and they are beautiful. Um, but the D&D dice, we got a lot of feedback from retailers. We know that you need more than seven dice to play. Sometimes you need to roll a couple of D20s or a few D6s because you dealt some damage. Um, so we also added to the evergreen line for the, the heavy metal dice, a four D6 pack as well. This is a test based on retailer feedback from our retail group. So I'm super curious to see how it does. It actually is just arriving in the next couple of weeks. I think it's supposed to be your end of February or beginning of March. Um, so I would love to hear, again, all of this, I'd love to hear your feedback. 
I personally and my communications manager, Crystal, are very active in that retail group, answering questions, um, putting out surveys, doing giveaways. Uh, so we use that group to hear your thoughts as you land new items in your store. So um, taking a peek, we will be using these three SKUs as the, the framework for our future dice release. So when we do a set to align with our the summer D&D set, it will be these three SKUs, the seven die, the 2D20, and the 4D6 set. Um, now, in addition to dice, we also have our figurines of adorable power line. These little guys are so much fun. Um, we have done a lot of different characters. These are from our most recent adoption. Uh, these launched, I think, in the US, December, and then I think EU is just getting them now. Um, we had four figures in this launch. And I want retailers to know, we do do variants for these. So we have inner case variants. So the way the pack out works on these is it's 12 per case, but they're divided into two inner cases of six. And there's a variant that lives in each inner case. As long as you order an inner case from your distributor, you'll get the variant as well. Um, and the variants are retail hobby exclusive. We don't do those retail or those variants anywhere else. So places like um, Sometimes you'll see the figurines in particular, they are available at like specialty, like Barnes and Noble and places like that. They do not get those limited edition um, uh, exclusives. So. Um, so we've got our, our most recent friends. We've got our Roper with his little variant buddies. And then we have the Goblin. Uh, and then we have our Black Dragon friend. Uh, and then we also have a Villette. So uh, this is our most recent adoption. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. These are some of the other ones that we've done. Figurines of Adorable Power will continue to stay in print um, as long as retailers are asking for them. So for example, our Mimic, we are on our second print run for the Mimic because he's a popular little guy. And our Owlbear and Red Dragon, which was our first launch for figurines, uh, those are also, we've just gotten a restock on those as well. So we do have these in stock for you guys. Um, so the figures, if you find ones that are good sellers or your customers are looking for a specific figure, hit up your distributor. Um, and if you have questions about stock availability, you can always ask us in the retail group as well. I need a drink, I need a glass, drink my water. I have so much to cover and I'm talking fast to try to get it all in before the end because I want to give you guys plenty of time to Q&A. And like I said, just reiterating, this whole presentation is up in the retail drive that I shared you guys a link to earlier uh, in the presentation and it's up in the chat as well. Um, all right, this one is one I'm really excited about because it was retailers who helped us uh, develop this product. We put out the character folio in early 2020, uh, the premium version. So it's a leather folio with an embroidered D&D um, logo on it. It has a notepad, slots for your spell card, clear pages for your character sheets that are dry erased so you can write on them and just wipe them away. The product sold through insanely fast. We thought we had a year supply and it turned out we only had a three month supply. Uh, and you all also voted, it won a couple of consumer awards and a couple of retailer awards as well. You guys liked this one. Um, and we asked our retail group for suggestions because we are going back into print uh, and ordering more. So we have an opportunity to, to say, what did we miss the first time around? Um, and a lot of you guys really um, mentioned to us that players who are using these are also players who buy the player's handbook or who carry a monster manual um, or, or who maybe even are the DM and you have your Dungeon Master's Guide. So for this version, we actually added to the back panel a book slot um, so that there's actually a place for your book to live permanently in this one. Uh, and then we changed the notepad that came in this one to graph paper because you all were like, come on, Ultra Pro. We're like sketching dungeons over here. We don't just need lines. We need grids too. So we did update the, the notepad in this one to feature the, the graph paper. Um, and then to help retailers tell whether they have the old version or the new one, the original version did feature a silver ampersand. Um, so on this one, we updated it to the red ampersand. 
so that you guys can tell the difference between the first run and the the new features uh, on this run. So I'm super excited about this one. Uh, I am definitely not the DM in the group, but I have a bard character sheet that really wants to live in one of these. Uh, and for those of you that the premium version, uh, you're like, no, I've got four or five campaigns. I and I don't need the premium version for everyone. We do have our traditional character folio. It's got pockets on the front and back. It has the same clear sleeve for your character sheet that are wet erased and plenty of spell slots for spell cards um, or notes or um, you know ability cards uh, that you may have. Um, so we've got a, quite a few of these designs and I will give you a little sneak peek. There's this thing that you guys have been asking us for for a really long time. And the fine folks over at d and uh, just gave us the green light. And so I'm going to give it, you hear, you heard it here first. In 2021, we will be launching the base class character folios. So those of you that want the bard folio, you're going to get it. You want the wizard folio, you're going to get it. We've got one for all of the base classes. And we are going to sneak some new features in for you without changing the MSRP, which we're really excited to be able to offer to you guys. So look for those uh, in the next like couple of months. Uh, I I can't wait to show them to you. Uh, and we also have some cool dice accessories that are coming out. We just blasted these to distributors. So these are available. Uh, the dice trays are available for pre-order right now. We're expecting those to come out um, June. Um, so we have both a foldable version and a more permanent rigid dice tray with the D&D ampersand. The foldable one is in fact reversible. So it's black with a red hot foil stamp on one side and the other side is red with the black ampersand. And I want you guys to take a peek at these uh, foldable dice trays. We are really stoked about these. No snaps, no buttons. These connect with magnets. So they're beautiful and they lay flat. So you can put this actually in the cover of your character folio. Uh, lay flat, fits in your backpack or sits inside any uh, folder for you. Um, the rigid dice tray is also a really a uh, nice premium version of our traditional die rolling tray. It has a leather interior with a D&D uh, debossed logo on it. Uh, and then it has the red foil accents. And of course we have our D&D dice bag and our big jumbo plush D20s um, that we also have available for D&D. And then I'm gonna sneak you into our plush adorable friends. Um, much like our figures of adorable power, these have been just continual restock. We're getting these in as fast as we can. And every time we think we've ordered enough to satisfy you guys for six months, you you prove us wrong on these. So we do have um, quite a few of these in stock now. And then the rest are gonna be restocking over the next few months. So we've got our plush uh, gamer pouches. So these are all zippers with um, space for a few dice. These are not your dice bag for like 50 dice. Uh, these are going to hold your like your best set. So these are like a probably 10 to 20 dice per per container. The Mimic, he eats lots of dice, though. He's got extra room. And I can tell you there's a new character. There's a new dice bag coming out. Character isn't the right word. I'll let you guys guess. And we'll be showing that off in the retail group in the next couple of weeks for you. So there is going to be a new one to this line for all you D&D retailers. And that wraps up D&D. And now we get to go to Pokemon. <laughs> we just make accessories for everything, guys. <laughs> um, so for Pokemon, uh, our Pikachu character line has been in the line. Um, and we have added over the last year our Squirtle and our Charizard. And then our most recent release is our Bulbasaur and Mewtwo character lines. So we generally have one to two character lines in print at any given time. Um, and then once we go out with new characters, we will generally send down the old character uh, unless the demand is really popular. So we are actually still printing Squirtle, Charizard, Bulbasaur, and Mewtwo right now. And um, I think also Pikachu, but don't, I, I, I want to check on that one because I can't remember if we have Pikachu uh, that's still in stock or is coming back in stock. So um, the, the character lines are evergreen. They're designed so that as long as we're in print on them, you're going to have them in your stores. We do set release 
the four pocket and nine pocket portfolios that come in. And as soon as the next one is out, we go right on to the next one and we don't go back into print on those. So much like magic where you have set release SKUs that roll and then you have more evergreen SKUs that can actually exist on your shelves long-term, we follow that same methodology because we know you need some consistency in your availability. Um, and then we are also, this is a brand new line for our character line. We've done the premium Pokeball and Ultra Ball products, but I want you guys to take a sneak peek at our Mew, uh, uh, Mewtwo premium character. This is a foil um, accent. So it's the beautiful like purple Mewtwo color on a leatherette finish. And then we have a like a highlight because if you haven't opened one of our alcoves, the interior lining is always custom to the product that it's on. So in this particular case, we've got the psychic energy and the, the Pokeball pattern. Um, so this one has just a really awesome high-end feel and it's going to set apart from anything else that's on the shelf for Pokemon right now. Um, and then we have the matching nine pocket binder. If you guys can put this in the back of your head and join us in the retail group, we have some active chats that have been happening over the last month about whether you guys as retailers want the Pokemon binders to be zipper or elastic strap. So you don't need to tell me here, put it in your head and shoot over into the retailer group and give us your two cents because we are interested in, in knowing that. If you guys need us to switch to a zipper because your customers prefer the zipper, we're ready to do that. Um, and then we do still um, have the Swish starters. So as long as Swish, we say Swish, Sword and Shield, as long as Sword and Shield is still active, um, we will keep the starters in stock for you. And then just reviewing, we've got our Pokeball accessories. These have been a staple for a long time and they are still available from us with the premium version. And then in 2020, we did the Great Ball. And then this year coming out any in the next just couple of weeks, um, we're gonna have that Master Ball line for you. And this is kind of our way of celebrating the 25th anniversary of Pokemon uh, is with the Master Ball line, so. We do have this. And then we, moving away from Pokemon and looking at some of our other fantasy license, we have the Amy Brown collection. Um, this has been really popular with our like fantasy heavy stores. Um, and the Amy Brown collection will have more SKUs coming out in 2021. I can't tell you what they're going to be because it's still a secret, but uh, look for more in this line. Um, we call our collaborations with the artists, whether traditional historical artists or modern artists, we call those part of our fine art collection. Because um, taking a minute to appreciate beautiful artwork for accessories is why they sell so well in the first place is beautiful art. Um, and so with our fine art collection, we have the Amy Brown collection. We also have uh, our historical um, favorites. So we have things like Girl with the Pearl Earring, The Kiss, and then we have your, your traditional um, Starry Night, Great Wave, Red Fuji. All of these are part of our line and evergreen. So you should be able to reorder these. I want you guys to note that over the next year, we will be shifting these away from 65 counts, moving more towards the 100 count packaging. That's based off of retailer feedback that the 100 counts just sell better. Um, so we will be looking to update those over the next year for you as um, the last of our stock runs out on each one they'll be coming in at the 100 count. Starry Night will be the first one to make that appearance. Probably Great Wave and Red Fuji will be next. And then the last ones will probably be done by the end of the year because we, we reorder these frequently. Um, and then we also have our Frazetta collection. Um, and then this is actually one of our newest product lines for the fine art is that premium alcove box. It's the leatherette finish with the custom beautiful lining. And we do have these available for um, the fine art collection. And we've done some really cool things with the liners on these. It does feature the artist's signature uh, and a custom lining on the inside of each one. All right, that is our uh, printed and art accessory items. I get to move into now our, what we consider our core line. This is the, the bread and the butter of your retail stores and our line. It's our core line of solid color accessories. We launched our suede collection in 2020 um, and we love it. And 
the retailer feedback is really great. Uh, and our sell through was fantastic. So we brought in two new colors. We added the, the amethyst and emerald color to the line that have just launched um, in January of this year. Uh, so we have five colors in that collection and there's six SKUs, three sizes of binders, three sizes of deck boxes. Um, I said there's six, there's actually eight SKUs. We have so three binders, three deck boxes, a dice bag, and then we've just added recently our um, newest die rolling tray. Um, so you saw the D&D foldable version early. Uh, for those that aren't using their dice for D&D, we do make the, the solid suede color in all five colors. And these are in a poly bag, so they hang flat on the wall and peggable for you. And again, no magnets or these are feature magnets, no snaps or buttons. So they're really lay flat and the magnets on these are tough puppies. So I can't wait to see what you guys think of these. These will be launching in Q2 as the last addition to our, our suite line. Um, and then the product that no one asked for, but we decided to make anyways, our R&D team did not stop to ask if they should. They just decided that they could. Uh, our satin tower line is one of the best selling deck boxes we've ever made. And we've been looking for ways to bring what people love about the satin towers into some of the other deck box styles. And this was a really fun departure for us. It is a Bluetooth speaker and phone charger. Uh, so this bad boy features, uh, it's not tournament, like can't put this one on the table during the tournament. So no blasting Kesha's TikTok at the top of your lungs. Uh, in the middle of your tournament. But this one's great for if you're having a commander game and you need uh, adventure music in the background, or it's just a fun way to charge your phone so you're never a dead battery at your tournament. Uh, and this one actually just arrived in our warehouse. So it is shipping right now to any retailers that pre-ordered. And then we've got our satin cubes. A lot of people love the satin tower, but said, mm, I carry like four or five decks. I need one without all the extra dice tray and everything. So we did launch our satin cube line in the five mana colors as our starting line. The pre-order numbers absolutely blew our minds on these. Um, so in addition to increasing our order so that we could cover all your, your pre-orders, we also went ahead and added, um, we are going to be adding seven additional colors. So the, the cube line will be available in 12 colors for you uh, by the end of 2021. So, and then we've got a lot of retail feedback and they were like, Liz, we need you to tell us how to tell and price the satin towers. What's, how do we figure this out? Cause you guys have so many satin towers. And so I took a few minutes to, our team has collectively uh, pared it down. There are three price points for our satin tower, traditional satin tower line. So there's three price points. And basically the way you can tell the difference on price point is by the finish. Uh, we have our specialty finish, which is our rainbow iridescent, our crackle, our wood finish. Um, these are uh, not a solid color. These are all multiple layers. And so these are one price point. And then we have our high gloss. These are the ones that look like that cool car finish or very glossy, uh, shiny version. Uh, and then we have our traditional uh, satin matte feel finish deck boxes. So we have three finishes, three price points. And then a really great way for you guys to remember this is there are 12 colors of the satin tower boxes. They line up with our eclipse colors. So there's a dark blue one. Great. So there's 12 core colors of satin towers. And that's going to line up with the 12 colors that will be out for the satin cubes by the end of the year. So you'll have your big, big guy, mama bear and papa bear side by side uh, for the satin finish product. Um, and I've got the handy reference for all of the, the current SKUs available for you. I know a lot of you are like, I don't know which ones are discontinued or which ones are specialty or which ones are that. So it's all here for you guys to reference so that you know what to reorder with your distributors or you know what's available. That way you don't have back orders with your distributors if something is discontinued and you're never gonna get it. So, um, and we're always looking for cool new ideas for finishes for satin towers. So please let us know. 
uh, if you have any suggestions. And then I briefly mentioned our Eclipse line. You guys all know and love our Eclipse sleeves, but we do have products that match the Eclipse line because some players like to match. Uh, so we have our those 12 colors. You'll also see those on our Pro Binder line where we have uh, the nine pocket, the four pocket, and the baby two pocket in all 12 colors. Um, and the nine pockets have been stuck. Uh, our restock has been stuck with a port backup, um, which I will touch on a little bit in the Q&A section, but we are anxiously awaiting that container to be unloaded as soon as humanly possible to get those back into stock for you guys. Um, and then, we did actually launch, we've had our matte sleeves out for quite a while for Eclipse, and we launched Gloss in 2020. And just to give you guys the total roundup, 12 colors for Eclipse, all 12 colors are available in matte and gloss in both standard and small. The last of the small size gloss sleeves are going to be releasing in March. So I put all the part numbers, everything here, so you can make sure you have your orders in with your distributors ready to go but it is 12 colors, standard and small, matte and gloss. So it's a very cohesive, consistent line. If somebody likes the color, they can get it in matte or gloss. And we did update the packaging to help you guys better message whether it's matte or gloss. We, we know you're telling us, like people are buying from across the counter. You have to be able to tell us it's matte or gloss from six feet away. So we tried to make this as clear as possible so that you don't accidentally sell the wrong one to a customer or a customer asks for the wrong one. And then we also, across our sleeve line, if it's a white header, it's for a small sleeve. If it's for a black header, it is for a standard size. So at a glance, without even reading words, you can tell whether it's small or standard that you're holding in your hand. And you can use that messaging to help your customers. Hey, the white top means you're buying small. Is that what you meant to do? Um, so that is across the board, whether it's matte, gloss, eclipse, non-eclipse, you name it, uh, that will hold through on all of our sleeves. And then, uh, so we've got the eclipse line for you, and then we have the matching 100 plus deck boxes. And then we also have our pro line. So this is the, um, the $1.99, 80 plus deck box, and then the matching um, matte and gloss sleeves. One thing for you guys to know, and you might not have noticed because we kind of snuck this one in on you. So the Pro line has had a lot of colors over the years, a whole lot of colors over the years. Uh, what we have done is we have paired it down to the best selling colors and we have lined them up. So matte or gloss and the 80 plus deck box are all available in the exact same selection of colors in both small and standard. Um, so again, we've, we've had a lot of like, Sometimes it was available in aqua for small, but not standard or um, all of that has been rounded out. So it's a cohesive, clean, you have the same colors across all three of those products for you. So hopefully that helps you with your um, consistency and restocking and knowing what, what colors you want to stock in your store and knowing that you can get them for all of those SKUs. So I know this is a lot of information, guys. So I... Thank you so much for bearing with me. I promise I'm almost done and we're going to get to the Q and answer portion for you. Um, we also have our board game sleeve, which we make in both a light version and a heavy gauge. So for the gamer that loves to sleeve up their board game because they're going to play it forever and ever and they don't necessarily need to fit it all back into the box, we have our heavy gauge, um, heavy duty board game sleeve. And then we also make the light version. Uh, the light version is fantastic because it's it's thicker than a penny sleeve, but thinner than a traditional sleeve. So it's a really great option for somebody who wants to sleeve up their game, but still put it back in the original box. Um, we make both of those available in eight sizes. Um, and then we also have our traditional line of profit covers. We have all of those available. Um, for you and the reference part numbers are here and again you can reference all of these part numbers or, or, or product details in that uh, Google Drive that we shared earlier. I'm going to do a kind of a skip. We've got our bags with our most recent launch 
uh, of the, the Trove, which is actually a bag that fits a playmat and multiple deck boxes. And it fits our satin towers, our alcoves, our vaults, our 80 plus and our 100 plus deck box. So um, these are great new additions that we've got. And then our heavy metal line um, that we sell the 2D20s and then we have one seven dice set in this. It's just a really affordable option for heavy metal dice for retailers. You can go online and you can get beautiful, expensive, heavy metal sets from Etsy and places like this. But we wanted this line to be something that was really accessible uh, to retailers and easy to stock in onesie twosies with distributors. Um, and then these are my favorite. These bad boys are retailers. There's a hundred comment thread if you scroll back in the retailer group from a few months ago where we said all right retailers what do you want and they were like we just want a big round dice bag that fits as many dice as humanly possible uh and that's where these came <laughs> these hold like 50 dice and they're plush d20s they've got a carabiner so they hook on your backpack or your bag uh and they're super cute and they sit uh and they're squishy and plushy um and so we launched three colors in 2020 and we're adding more colors in 2021. Uh, so if you haven't gotten one of these, uh, definitely try to snag some of these. We've got restock. We sold out our first run like like that. Uh, and our, our next run is restocking in the next couple of months. So, uh, and then we have our big jumbo plush guys. Um, these ones are like pillow sized. Um, and so these are also continually restocking. These are really tough for us because they take up so much space that we can't bring very many in at a time because we literally will run out of warehouse space with just plush of dice if we, we brought them in enough. So what we try to do is always have one or two colors available for you uh, at any given time. So if you, the color you're looking for is out of stock with your distributor, check on the other colors just to, to see because we generally will have one or two always available for you. <sighs> okay, take a deep breath. We did the thing. <laughs> um, I thank you guys for bearing with me. Thank you so much. This was a marathon. That was pretty amazing. I, I, I know. <laughs> thank you for giving me a whole hour. Normally I have to cram that into 30 minutes. I can't, I can't even imagine. I, I cause like there, you at the, to the end, you're like, I have, to, I have to keep going. I'm like, wait, this is great. I'm learning so much. I mean, there's products in here. I didn't know about, I'm not a Pokemon person, but just straight up that, that Mewtwo, the foil Mewtwo, uh, folders. Of course, I was like, oh you want the gosh. foil binder. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. Yeah, go go Lux with it. I mean, Kyle uh, Kyle Knudsen, who is, I mean, basically keeping this whole event together. Thank you so much, Kyle. Shout out to Kyle. He and I were chatting. And I was like, literally, I'm not, I'm not excited. Dude, did you just see that YouTube folder? Oh my god, that thing, that, that, that binder looks so insane. So, a lot of exciting stuff. I'm super duper excited. Really, I can't thank you enough, Liz, for taking a Saturday to to talk to all of us um, and let us know what's coming in Ultra Pro. Honestly, cannot recommend enough getting into that Facebook group and talking to Liz. You know, you don't wait for an event like this to drop your, your questions and get your answers. Go in there anytime you want for any kind of questions you have. Join that group, ask those questions, and be active and engaged. So thank you so, so much, Liz. Awesome. Thank you guys so much, too. And thank you guys for putting this on. It's an awesome opportunity for us and for the retailers. Oh, awesome. Thank you. We'll be right back. Take another break here. Get that sip of water. Uh, we'll be right back with Brian Garside from Manage Comics. And we get to, I can't wait because we get to talk about comic books. I'm a comic book guy. So uh, very, very interested in hearing from Brian. Uh, so uh, we will be right back in about five minutes and, and uh, bring Brian on. 